All right, so super, super, super exciting news. And uh, that's why Jen is here, because I went home and talked to Jen first, and then I'm bringing it all to you. We are going independent. Yeah. Wow. Yes. So, wow. and I figured you kind of knew. <laughs> so, we are, I mean, super excited for that, obviously, but, you know, there's been a lot of friction since we just moved some title work around, and it really has tipped our hand or my hand into the fact to of you know what's really at play here which is all about title um you know whether we matter or whether the next person that could come in and fill our spot matters and so with that said obviously you know i appreciate all of your support i i thoroughly hope that you're all excited about it i le look towards david niemer because he's like holy shit i just moved here <laughs> um, and if david niemer says i'm going back to remax i'm going to hug him and love on him um, but at the same time, I ask for your support and yours as well. I'm happy. I trust you. <laughs> and that's what I appreciate it, bro. And that's what it's all about is, is just trusting us. You know, I, I will share our, my hand's been forced a little bit. Our hand essentially is as a whole. But I've been in the background for months researching all of this stuff um, on whether it made sense to go somewhere else or to just go independent. Here, here's the thing. Everything's staying the same for now, right? Or, I mean, we're basically going to go from... The John Wentworth Group at Remax Platinum to the John Wentworth Group. Everything's going to stay the same. Through that process, we will fine-tune everything, um, and we are going to be moving here within two weeks. Holy <laughs> So, if you're ever thinking about going independent, come along for the ride, because we've got two weeks to get the hell out of here. Anything you think stands out, anything you think you might like, anything you think is a good area, and then I'll show you what we're looking at. I think anything that isn't a, a, a neg, you know what I mean, like if it's a lateral move, and it gives us the space we need is okay, right. but we're not going backwards. Yeah, absolutely. John Wentworth here, obviously. I always text you when I'm in front of the building. It's looking great, and I'm still looking for some space. So give me a shout. Let me know if there's an opportunity. Um, I would take half for sure. See ya. I mean, this sucker's beat Should up too. No. We don't want to leave Don up here. He might go out in the street and get hit by a car. I've always felt you could do some cool stuff with the garage door and... Uh-huh. <laughs> Tony, oh, here's... Yeah, you can pull the door. Yeah, you can just... Tony, get back in the lever. Avalanche right in the door. We could make it work. I'm just saying, what I was saying is, the, if, if, they're, if we're 3,000 and another place is 3,000, but it's a shell and we're stuck with the wall in the middle, then the shell is going to offer us more room. But if that's 4,500 and it has a wall in the middle, then it's already way bigger. So day two of being fired from Remax. Love it. Can't wait. Gonna rock the floor. Well, it was just interesting, last week uh, I put in my calendar today to talk about confidence um, because it was one of the things that came up when we had our, um, our team training was, I think it was Jennifer actually, who said, you know, was it, it was you, correct? About being confident. And so it was just interesting that I put that in there last week because I knew Jen was going to be gone. I didn't want to talk about the numbers, right? So I just wanted to talk about what's something that we could focus on as a team um, to propel us forward, which I think is confidence. And, and I think, you know, confidence is a funny thing, right? Because you always hear this term, fake it till you make it. And, and I think that applies. Um, I think that applies. You know, I think if you're not confident, you have to figure out a way to fake it until you make it. But I think that, when, you know, if you, if you strip all that away, our confidence lies in the truth, right? And the truth is we're just going to do all we can to serve our clients the best of our ability. So we don't have to know all of the answers, right? Nobody does. Andy knows more than Myron about one question, and Myron knows more than Andy about all the others. <laughs> but truly, so, so I think confidence really is a trait that comes from understanding that you're there to serve them rather than sell them, right? Because how can you not be confident in that? If you're always trying to get to the sale, 
then I think confidence, you know, when you, well, that's the outcome, right? If you're always trying to get to the sale and it doesn't occur, that's going to beat up on your confidence. But if, but if you're attached to the process, which is just serving them and helping them and, and answering their questions, then it's easy to get confident because you're not worried about the desired outcome. The outcome will come with time. So we are uh, day two of getting fired by Remax, and uh, you know we're. Uh, oops, I hope I didn't lose a spot for him there. Oh, this is mine. Um, just uh, you know, shared with. I mean, literally, the manager came in here yesterday and said, um, "You're out in 48 hours. No reason, um, nothing." And uh, I'm, and I know he was just like feeling so good about it. And I was sitting here like, "Thank you." because we are gonna crush and we're gonna crush you. Um, and I say that with love. But, uh, but so, you know, shared yesterday with the team um, it, and you know, I, I didn't really have a fear in that, but you never know how people are gonna react and they were all overwhelmed. They loved it. They are all fired up and ready to move. I wanted to move. Um, and then we just had our team meeting the 24 hours later, same sentiment, everything is in place. I've got a shitload of work to do. I got to figure out where we're going, when we're going, how we're transferring our license, how we have zero interruption in our pattern, right? And I know John Sheplak likes to talk about interrupt the pattern. No, we need this pattern of being able to sell to just keep going, but every other pattern is totally interrupted. And I love that. Um, you know, this morning we, we talked about, uh, we played that song, you know, Eye of the Storm and, and the storm cleanses things. And so the storm yesterday was you were fired and everything else now is a cleanse. And I feel like there's such a weight off my shoulder. I just feel like just, you know, like opening up my shirt and it's the John Wentworth group. We don't have to talk about Remax anymore. And I loved Remax. I love my time there, but I truly believe that our brand is held back right now and we're now propelled to go forward. So I come in my office <clears throat> And uh, Tony's got this on my desk highlighted. So it says, this is a, uh, a Ecclesiastes. I don't even know how to say that. Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes? How do you say that? Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes. Um, but this is uh, a time for everything. So there is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to uproot. Tony picked this. I haven't read this yet. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to tear down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to scatter stones and a time to gather them. A time to embrace. And a time to refrain from embracing time to search and a time to give up, a time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to tear and a time to mend, a time to be silent and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. Well, I guess it's time that we, uh, that, you know, we start to, uh, start to build and, uh, you know, it's, uh, a time to dance. It's a time to gather. It's a time to embrace. It is uh, you know, a time to throw away the old and embrace the new. And it's just a time to, I think, move forward and and understand that uh, you know God's been preparing me for this moment my entire life. And you know, in that, the things that I've endured, this is so minuscule because the truth is we have this huge platform. And you know, this amazing team that we've built and all these amazing people that are supporting me and supporting each other and supporting the brand. And it's just, uh, it's, that's what makes me emotional is there is zero doubt from anyone on this team. And that makes me obviously uh, move with zero doubt. And so I'm just thankful. I'm thankful to the Lord for blessing us for this. Uh, I just, I want to make sure that as I go through this process, that I give a lot of glory to God. And I think that uh, you get moving so fast, it's easier to forget about that. And uh, I just gotta be really focused on that right now and, and uh, make sure that the people around me remind me to do that. Uh, because I wanna be able to glorify Him in this, in this moment, in this storm, if you will. Um, because we're gonna come out in, uh, in the tropics. <laughs> Peace. We are two weeks removed from 
Remax. And, uh, you know, it was two weeks ago that we got the 48-hour notice, and, uh, you know, that was a whirlwind. But I got to tell you, the team here at uh, the John Wentworth Group has band together like no team I've ever seen before. Uh, even Danny, you know, who played five years uh, for the University of Tennessee, said, man, I can't believe how tight this team is. And uh, it's just a testament to the family that we have here, uh, and it's a testament to, you know, to our brand. And so I just want to thank everybody. You know, um, I, we've, we're two weeks removed from that date, and we have 17 homes that we've sold in that time. So, you know, it's business as usual here at the John Wentworth Group. We're set up in our brand new office uh, overlooking Shiawassee and Owen Road, which is really awesome. And uh, we're just feeling super blessed and uh, super thankful for all the support of the community. I've gotten so many. I mean, here's a card. Here's a card. I even got a drone from somebody, which was cool. Um, but, uh, you know, just so, so many people have reached out and... And one thing they keep saying is, you know, they're they're inspired by what we're doing, and they're uh, they're motivated by what we're doing, and and also a lot of words such as integrity and trust and professionalism, and those just really humble me and, and warm my heart. And so I just thank you all for that. Uh, we're certainly going to do big things at the John Wentworth Group, and uh, we just thank you for being along the ride. Have a blessed day.